Hello everyone, this is Ben Dunn, founder of Antarctic Press, a small publishing comic book company founded in 1985, creator of such comics as Ninja High School, Marvel Mangaverse, Warrior Nun, and many, many others. So today I want to tell you the story about how Ninja High School fans saved Antarctic Press. Now you have to remember... I, uh, this is the 80s. So the direct comic book market was starting to grow. The black and white uh, explosion had just started. And we were part of that. Now, uh, Anarchist Press, as I said, was established in 1985. And uh, we were fairly, you know, I wouldn't say successful, but uh, we did okay. Uh, we released our first comic, Magazine, and it did okay did fairly well i mean it wasn't teenage mutant ninja turtles level of good but it was good enough but you know with other it was as with most small publishing companies it was difficult to maintain a consistent output of material because you know you need creators and you need money for that now i'm fortunate enough that i can draw my own stuff so i was able to create at least material to be published by Antarctic press but I was finding out I was getting work from other publishers and uh, uh, and uh, I was keeping pretty busy. So I couldn't uh, maintain a steady output for Anarchy Press to put out you know, material. So we had to rely on a lot of creators. And there weren't a lot of creators who were coming to Anarchy Press since we were such a small company, you know. But, and, uh, so, but we were humming along you know for a while just barely making it until we hit upon ninja high school which turned out to be a huge financial success for us and we did really well with it the first three issues did you know sales wide fantastically well and we were doing okay but uh that caught the attention of attorney comics and they made a deal with me to uh, publish the book so i went ahead and took the offer and attorney comics started publishing ninja high school which was antarctic press's best-selling book at the time so uh, we were left without any anchor book to uh, maintain our business. So we, Anarchy Press was starting to go downhill, really. It was just wasn't making any money, you know. And uh, we were almost to the point where we were almost ready to declare bankruptcy. And my brother told me, he was uh, handling the books at the time, that, uh, that it just wasn't sustainable. But uh, we were thinking about it, and then I realized that we had a huge stack of material from fans. Yeah, fans had been sending me fan art uh, for Ninja High School and short stories, and it just was piling up. You know, it was it was just amazing how the 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 series resonated with readers, and they became fans of the series and started to send stuff in. And I, I, I thought about it and I thought why why can't we use this material why can't we publish it you know so uh I asked you know Eternity Comics it'd be okay they said it was fine you know and uh we went ahead and solicited our first issue of the Ninja High School yearbook and the yearbook turned out to be a resounding success it was so successful for us in fact that it saved Antarctic Press it got us out of the the red you know, and into the black, it gave us enough financial uh, capital to operate for several months until we could get more material out and get more uh, and get back on our feet. So, it is the power of fans that I humbly thank. You know, and it is the power of fans that we should never underestimate if you are a creative endeavor. Fans are the lifeblood of any IP. If you neglect your fan, you do it at your own peril. You know, if, if you're uh, any type of creative endeavor that, you know, is trying to promote something or trying to promote an IP, you know, don't disparage the fans. Don't insult them. Don't attack them. It's a stupid move. It doesn't do anybody any good to do that.